Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and welcome to Power Apps Model Driven App Step by Step series. You are watching the third episode of this series and in this session I am going to talk about how we can get started with model driven development approach. So we will be do some planning regarding our first model driven app development. We will be talking about which is the which should be the data structure that we need to prepare in order to get started with model driven app. So let's make a plan to make our first model driven app with me. One more important announcement. I launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform. So if you wanted to be a part of my Instagram family, do follow me on Instagram. The Instagram ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box. So do check it out. One more important thing. As you are watching the third episode of this series and if you wanted to know about the previous episode or the future episode, just check the description box where I am putting all the link of this entire playlist as well as each part of this video. So navigate through the description box. Also in future if I am going to make another model driven app videos, I am going to put those links in the description box. So always check the description box for the latest information. So without wasting much time, let's get started and plan our first model driven app design in detail. So now let's get started with model driven app development process and let's talk about the overall example that we are going to cover throughout this entire session series. So let's plan out the data structure for that thing and let's get started. For this entire session series, I am going to take an example of HR onboarding process. The overall onboarding process cover four different steps. The very first step is that HR is adding the different information about employee. So that would be the first step. Once HR's work is completed, what they are doing is IT admin is going to set up their different account, their organizational account, their VPN setup, their device setup, everything is to be done by IT admin. Once IT admin creates the account, there is a task of manager to assign the employee to the specific project and assign them the specific business unit. So that would be the third stage. And in the last stage, when employee came to the organization or employee joined the organization, on day one, they are performing some operations and complete the overall onboarding process. So this is the overall business process that we are going to cover throughout this entire session journey. Now, let me show you the end outcome first. So you will get an idea that how we can design the data structure for this HR onboarding process. Here you can see that I have created one form with four business processes. The first process is for HR, second one is for IT admin, third is for manager and fourth one is the for the employee who is joining at day one. So let's get started. So as a HR I am filling some of the information over here like I am just filling employee birth date, employee type, their email address, their phone number, their emergency contact detail, then resume information, then interview start date and interview end date and click on the next stage. So what happen here is when they simply click on next stage, IT admin will receive an email notification to perform their different step, right? So as a IT admin, what happened here is they will just performing their action like if they have created account for the new joining, VPN is set up or not, device is allocated or not, corporate email is created or not. So let's say if they created a corporate email as well, so they will just enter that and any notes that they wanted to add. And they simply click on save right 
and uh, maybe they will simply click on next stage so what happened here is manager will receive a notification that this account has been set up and now you can assign the employee to the specific project so what manager will do is they will just allocate the business uh, unit for them and they will just provide a project information that this is very important project and when they click on next stage it the new joining employee will receive a notification to complete the onboarding process so when new joining employee is coming here they will just check that all the information is correct or not uh, the induction has been completed or not so these are the question to be filled by the employee and when they click on finish the overall onboarding process is being completed so you can see that this is the overall business process that is going to happen step by step so for this kind of thing we are going to build our model driven app we will check all of this information in detail that how i have developed this entire thing right so now let's talk about the data structure design for this particular project that how we need to define the database for that i have prepared this excel spreadsheet take a screenshot of this excel spreadsheet by pausing the screen and this is something which will help you to my next session where i am going to create the same data verse table schema right so basically i have used the different color codes the green is something which is used for the hr second one the yellowish is something which is used for it admin this one is something which is used for manager and the last one is for employee right and this is some master table that i am going to create here like i am going to create one designations master table where i am just providing minimum experience that is required for that specific position and what would be the description of that designation so this is something which i am storing as a master table and i will use the same master table as a lookup in this particular table so now let's talk about our main table which is employee onboarding table in employee onboarding table so basically hr fills the basic information like employee name the designation designation can be software developer senior developer lead developer and project manager they can also ask employee type like full time employee or contract type employee then date of birth email phone number emergency contact detail manager email interview start date interview end date date of joining and number of leaves now date of joining is something which is calculated like whenever the interview is ended we need to add plus 1 month in to date of joining so this is the overall procedure and this is a business rule that we need to define so this is something which is calculated column that we need to create then for it admin we need to create a column all this column we need to create into single dataverse table and what happen here is business process will manage those step wise form for you right now over here we need to create columns like is account created vpn is allocated device is set up corporate email that they need to create and admin notes if they wanted to add any additional note they can add here right so this is the admin part now for manager we need to create another two columns that is business unit like in which business unit they want to assign the employee like insurance healthcare finance education what business unit and project information they will just provide the project information to the employee then there are other four columns for the employee when they join the organization so first of all they need to check that all the information that has been filled in is correct or not so is information is verified is induction has been completed by hr is leave balance is provided and biometrics is done or not so this is something that they need to fill in by the employee right so this is the overall dataverse table schema that you need to build right so we will build that dataverse table schema in the next session of this series and so far if you have any question related the overall onboarding process that we are going to cover throughout this journey feel free to add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading regular content on power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint on my channel 
so make sure you hit subscribe to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any consultancy here is the website link click on that it will redirecting you to this page over here go to the contact page and fill out your query to me if you are interested for following me on different social media channel here is the link to url click on that over here you will find all my social media handle links and you are good to follow me everywhere if you are interested for twitter and instagram following here is the twitter account and here is the instagram account click on the instagram account because i recommend everyone to follow me on instagram because it is the platform where i am uploading different post reels and igtv so you can never miss any short content on power platform so the id is very simple which is power platform guy just open your instagram and search for my id and you are good to follow me also if you are interested for different audio podcasts related power platform here is the channel click on that it will redirecting you to this page over here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more if you are interested for different short video related power platform here is a separate channel called digital dhruvin subscribe that channel and show your love over there as well this is dhruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content